I thought setting up industrial tents would be a good complement to our tent event business. So this is kind of a proof of concept. This is our first time doing anything industrial. It's a 30 by 70 TMG tent. So right now we are squaring the tent. Barely see it, but this is the line here. Let's see if I can get a better angle. Now we're beginning to lay out the base plates here. Um, these are gonna actually go a meter and a half apart. We use 10 inch galvanized nails to hold the base plates in place in kind of the frozen, soon to be muddy ground. The idea was then to put the trusses on and then use big stakes to fully secure the base plates. Here we are assembling the trusses. It's kind of slow going because we're figuring out uh, exactly how they work, how they assemble. Um, by the last one, we were going quite quickly. And so this is why the job in general took us longer and it was a bit of kind of messing around because while well, we were learning uh, how to do this, what tools to use, etc. Okay, so yeah, the first truss, it was a little awkward. By the last truss, we had it down to a science, but the first truss, again, we're just learning, we're trying to figure things out, and we're using a rope. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's a little bendy, it's a little heavy, it's a little awkward. Eventually, we had the ladder there in the middle, which helped a lot. And in the future, definitely, definitely having a lift or some sort of forks. To, to lift the thing, it would just make life a lot easier. So that's one thing we really need, some sort of rented machine or something to help the job go quick. Uh, yeah. Is that, it's extra muddy. Here we are assembling the trusses. Now they're fairly easy to assemble. They just come together in with bolts and nuts and washers. So here's us now with the ladder, which makes things easier. Like I mentioned, we're still using the rope. Still a little awkward, but it gets easier every single truss. By the last truss, we were doing it uh, really quick. We had a good system down. Again, some sort of lift would be good. Something that wouldn't get bogged down in the mud though. Um, in the mornings, the ground was frozen. And then as the day progressed, the sun warmed it up, at least the top layer, and it became kind of really muddy. That was a major issue that I think slowed us, slowed us down a lot. Uh, so just something to think about. After we put the truss in the base plate, we installed a horizontal, and then we proceeded to install the second horizontal after popping the truss in the second base plate, kind of like you see us doing here. Now, later on, we would just pop both of them in place and do the horizontals at the same time once we got kind of comfortable with everything. Then we're attaching these cross horizontal pieces with these brackets here. Pretty simple. Again, just bolted on. Same bolts as the main frame.
Okay. Hey, so now we're also doing the cross beams here. It's quite a few. By cross beams, I mean these pieces, these horizontal pieces. I essentially brace everything horizontally, um, or brace, brace the trusses horizontally. There's actually quite a few of these pieces. That's the one thing we didn't really um, expect. We knew there's gonna be a lot of bolts, but not necessarily that many. But anyway, this is how the pieces look. You can see there's a bolt going through here and a bolt going through here. And they just brace all the way to the end. There's still some vertical and horizontal pieces at both ends of the tent here that need to be secured. And it's fairly easy kind of assemblage, very basic instructions are all right. Uh, the main problem, I think it really took a day out of the job is just it's so muddy. As you can see, Oz's boots are just covered in mud. If you see people walking slowly from one end to the next, it's just because their boots are five times heavier than normal, if not 15 times. Um, even the ladders going up and down, it's just ridiculously muddy. So, um, yeah, that was a major problem, major challenge for the job, but uh, we still got it done. In retrospect now, we should have definitely had some sort of plywood all over the ground. Um, it's kind of weird because it started off fine, you know, during the morning and then got muddy, so you didn't really think about it, and by then it was too late. Once the frame was fully assembled, we used larger stakes to fully secure the frame to the ground. For this model of tent, there is a front and back portion of canvas that goes on first before the top goes on. And what worked really well is just taking the center of the canvas, lifting it up to the peak there, and then using tie straps to kind of hold everything in place. Then using this rope method here to start securing it permanently to the frame. the grommets again. It's a little tricky because you want enough rope to get a few uh, grommet loops going. But of course you need more rope. So behind us we got Owen there feeding uh, more rope. Of course the camera man feeding more rope. Um, and it's nice to do it with three people. Especially this top part. Um, it's a little time consuming because we also have the rope on this horizontal piece there. So there's a lot of feeding here, but you know, it's pretty quick. It's relatively quick. It's not too bad. As you can see, we're just feeding it along. Nice and easy. You know, it's not even doing it. We got the two sides up, so it's totally doable. If you know, you just have a little bit of patience like this. <laughs> While some of us finished the ends, we had a couple other people lay out a big tarp and start getting the top oriented. Some of the rope also goes kind of on this bottom bar, which is towards the ground. Of course, it's all muddy, so we had to uh, string it through you that pipe there, which was a bit of a challenge. So here we attached ropes to the corners in the middle of one side of the tent top canvas and then threw the ropes over. One of the ropes was actually attached to the hitch of the truck. And later we attached one of the ropes to the van. So you'll see the van here disappear because it's repositioned and we attached the corner rope on the kind of the left there. 
so that it helped bring the tent top over. Of course, this was a big challenge, but it wasn't actually that bad. I think attaching it to the vehicles helped a lot. And we just went really slowly so that nothing ripped, uh, nothing got caught. And as it got caught, because it did get caught slightly here and there, you know, we would go with ladders and just pop it up or push it up. And then it was just fine. And it wasn't actually too bad. The trucks helped a lot. Luckily we had the safe space for that. I can imagine if you're in like a tight spot, that wouldn't be possible. We also attach ropes to the top tips on one end and then the next and then attach those to the vehicles. You can see one car, one truck there and van on the other side. And then we kind of pulled them apart um, nice and slowly, making that tent top nice and taut over the long vertical distance. One of the last steps were essentially all these ratchets on the sides that would hold the tent top to the ground nice and securely. And you hear we, we see Owen attaching the, uh, the canvas to the ground. The main canvas was attached to the ends using the weaving rope method that we showed before that we had the front and back canvas panels attached to the frame also kind of in the same weaving rope method. So we're tremendously happy with this kind of proof of concept. To the, I'm kind of considering this as a training session and we're gonna to try to do a few more of these as kind of another source of revenue, especially in the off season and see how it goes and uh, go from there.